In this lecture, we are going to learn how we can configure Webpack in order to run our project in a live development server. For that, we have already installed a library called Webpack Dev Server, which will help us run our project in a live development server. So let's go to VS Code. And currently, we are running our project in this live development server. Now, this server, this live development server, it is provided by VS Code extension called live server. So we are using this extension in order to run this project in a live development server environment. But instead of now using this live server, we are going to use Webpack. We are going to configure Webpack to run our project in a live development server provided by Webpack. For that, in the package.json file inside this scripts property, we are going to add one more property and that is start. And to this, we are going to assign a string value and there we will say webpack serve. Let's save this file. And now here, now in order to compile and run this project, instead of using npm run build, we are going to use npm start. And this time it is going to use this script, basically this script in order to compile and run this application. So if I press enter, Okay, so Webpack has started. If I scroll a little bit up, here you can see it says project is running at and then this URL. If I copy this URL and if we paste it here in the address bar of the browser, it is not running it. So our application is not running at this location. That's because by default, what Webpack is doing is it is looking for the files in a public folder. But in our project, so as you can see, it is looking for a file in public folder in our project. But in our project, we don't have any public folder. Our files which we want to serve, it is present in the project folder directly. So we want to serve index.html file and style.css file. And in the index.html file, we are using our bundle.js file. So that also we want to execute. So now we need to tell Webpack that it has to look for the files, the static files, in the project directory itself and not in any public folder. For that, let's go to webpack config.js file. There, after the module, we are going to add another property which is dev server. This is going to be an object. In that object, we are going to add another property called static. Okay, and here we are going to specify the path of our static files. So here we need to specify the directory to this. Again, we need to specify the absolute path. So for that, we have this path variable here. On this path variable, again, we will call resolve method. And there, again, we are going to use underscore underscore dir name. So this is going to give us the absolute path of our project file. And it is this path, it is this directory, where our static files are present. So I'll also use the second argument and there I'll simply pass slash. Okay. And here let's use comma. Let's save the file. And it is still not working. That's because it should be dot slash. Okay. Let me save the changes again. And let's again run npm start command. And again, webpack is running. So let me refresh the page now. And now our application is working. And now it is running on localhost port number 8080. Let me also open developer console. And here the objects are also logged. So now our application is working as expected. Now, let me move this terminal a little bit down. So now what should happen is whenever we do some changes, it should automatically recompile our code and it should update the UI. So what I will do is let's go to app.js file. So in the source folder, we have this app.ts file. There, let me add another console.log statement. And there, let's say app is running. Something like this. And if I save my changes, it should again, as you can see, it has again recompiled the code. But 
I don't see that message app is running here. Now, why is that? If we go to this source tab and there, if we open, so if I expand this TypeScript, there if we go to this source folder and there if I open app.ts, there you will not see that console.log message. Let me move it a little bit up. So here you will not see this console.log message added. Our project has compiled successfully, but the changes are not reflecting here. And the reason is in the dev server mode. So currently we are running our project in a dev server. So in this mode, the bundle is not generated in the disk. It gets generated in memory. Okay, so keep in mind that when we are running our application in dev server mode, the bundle is generated in memory only and not in a physical file path. And this dev server, it should read the bundle JavaScript file from that memory, but it is not doing that. In the memory, the file is generated, that's for sure, but the dev server is not reading the bundled file, which is present in the memory. For that, what we need to do is, let's go to again, webpack config.js and there in this output property let's go ahead and let's add one more property and that is public path and to this we need to assign dist like this and the reason why we have to add this configuration is because by default the webpack will not look for bundled javascript file in the dist folder it will search for it in the same folder where the index.html file is present. Okay, and here we are telling Webpack to look for the bundled file in the dist folder. So with this, if I save the changes, the application should recompile. And now let's reload the page. And here we have an error and it says the mode option has not been set. So here we have a warning. But in the console, you can see that now we are seeing this message app is running. Okay, now we have this warning because we also need to set the mode here. So mode can be either dev or production. So currently we are running our application in development mode. So here the mode will be development, but we can also set the mode of our application to production and that we will do in our next lecture. With that, let me save the changes. And for some reason it is not recompiling. So let me again stop by pressing Ctrl C and let me restart the application again by running npm start. And now there is no warning and our application is working as expected. And now we are running our application in a live development server provided by Webpack. Okay, so here we are using Webpack dev server in order to run our application in a live development server. Now, if we want to set the mode to production, in that case, we might need to adjust this workflow a little bit. And there, we want a different output with more optimization. When we set the mode to development, Webpack will do fewer optimizations to improve our development experience, and it will make debugging more easier and give us more meaningful error messages. But when we want to set the mode to production, there, we want more optimization, and we are not interested in debugging our code. There, we might be interested more in the performance of the application. So in the next lecture, let's see how we can change the settings in this webpack config.js file for running our application in production mode. This is all from this lecture. If you have any questions, then feel free to ask it. Thank you for listening and have a great day.